Okay, top 10 goals of all time, starting here with an honorable mention. Westberg around the world. Are you kidding me, my guy? Grabs the ball in the air, brings it all the way across his body, five hole on the goalie, bounces perfectly in, semi-finals. You just don't see many around the world goals in lacrosse, and he's falling down and somehow still gets the shot off. I still get chills watching this over and over. So I have a few more honorable mentions, including this ridiculous fake flip by Joel Tenney. I mean, I remember how hyped this goal was. Every single one of my friends was freaking out when they saw this. I mean, look at how much the defenders buy the fake. It's just silly. That was such a hype goal and Joel Tenney is forever a legend because of this. And I have another honorable mention, this absolute lash from Sergio Perkovic. Remember when he went on that crazy five goal run in the fourth quarter? I just think this shot is unbelievable. I mean, high to high, perfect corner, probably 100 miles per hour. That's the type of shot that you're in your backyard dreaming about. And I mean, the camera angle just showed all that power in the shot. I feel like this is when Sergio went from really good to elite. Five goals in one quarter? I don't think we're ever gonna see that again. And my last honorable mention is Rob Pinnell cooking up here top side. Just casually stings the top right corner backhanded against Maryland. Are you kidding me? And the Maryland goalie Nico Amato was one of those lockdown goalies that just saved everything. And Rob Pinnell decides to just whip it and not even change hands. RP3 in college was insane and he showed us there why he was one of the college greats. Those are my honorable mentions. Now let's get started with the list. Okay, at number 10, we have Jordan Wolf against Notre Dame in the 2014 D1 National Championship. He just turns on the Jets in the final seconds of the game to secure the W. And he's being guarded by Matt Landis and Stephen O'Hara, two of the best defenders in the country at that point. And he just runs around them like a savage. And he just finishes the ball to win the national championship his senior year of college. At number nine, we have this goal from Joe Sider of Towson when they played Syracuse. This is probably the best camera angle of a lacrosse shot we've ever seen. You simply cannot paint a corner more perfect than that. 15 yards out against Syracuse, I mean, that's just beautiful. That's why you watch lacrosse right there. That's just art. Coming in at number eight, we have this goal from Tahoka Nanticoke where basically for no reason, he decides to go between the legs, left-handed and absolutely stick it. Like bro, how do you decide, okay, I'm just gonna go between the legs with my non-dominant hand? Like, do you think of that before or does it happen naturally? This goal broke the internet and for good reason. Tahoka Nanticoke, man. I'm still just blown away by this goal. Coming in at number seven, we have Lyle Thompson with this backhanded, on the run, fading away from the goal shot. What the heck is going on here? If I was the defender, I mean, I'm thinking, wow, I just played really good defense, and then Lyle Thompson decides to somehow, with basically no angle, just stick this ball far pipe. Like, how do you even practice that? Lyle Thompson is a wizard. Coming in oh so smooth at number six is this toe drag from Mark Matthews. I might get chirped a little bit for putting this too high, but I mean, bruh, Mark Matthews in college against Team USA. I mean, you can't have a more perfect toe drag. Splits the defense, launches it in. I mean, I can't tell you how many sticks of mine I just ruined trying to get enough hold so I could do a toe drag like Mark Matthews. It was just like nothing we'd ever seen before. By the way, you can always subscribe to the free Lax Weekly email newsletter packed with tips on how to become a better lacrosse player. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go subscribe now. At number five, we got my dog, Matty Ice, Matt Cavanaugh of Notre Dame, just ending Albany's magical run with this legendary goal. This goal solidified Kavanaugh as having ice in his veins. He was the most clutch player in college lacrosse for sure. He just read that slide perfectly, stepped in, boom. And I mean, everyone in that game wanted Albany and the Thompsons to win. But classic Notre Dame, Matt Kavanaugh comes in and says, ha ha, never mind. And at number four, this was filmed with a potato, but CJ Costabile 2010 National Championship 
takes it the distance and scores the game winner in overtime for Duke. I remember watching this goal live and no one could believe it. Like long sticks weren't like they are now with all these crazy handles. But Costabile just marched down the field and scored. And I mean, I guess you could say this goal kind of started Duke's era of dominance. They won two more national championships by 2014. And now coming in at number three, unfortunately, this also looks like it was filmed with a potato, but Syracuse versus Cornell in 2009. This was a last second goal to tie the game up. I mean, behind the back, crazy pass, crazy finish, and then Syracuse goes to win it in overtime. Like the sequence of events was so epic, you can't even make it up. No one could draw up that crazy of a play. I always wonder if the Cornell defender in that game wakes up and thinks about that goal. And coming in at number two, we all know it, Chris Cloutier with the overtime goal to win the 2016 National Championship. I mean, this guy could not miss. He had nine goals in the semifinals and five goals in the final. This was overtime to win it all. UNC was the complete underdog in this game, and it was just one of those moments in lacrosse that you never forget. And finally at number one, we're throwing it way back to a time where I wasn't even born yet. 1988 for the air gate by none other than Gary Gate himself. I think this is definitely the most iconic goal in lacrosse history. I mean, I don't think anyone thought it was possible to just leap over the goal and the pockets were so shallow back then. People still talk about this goal today and it's been what, 30 years since it happened? Okay, that was fun. Those were my top 10 goals. Which top 10 list do you wanna see next? I'm Jake with Lax Weekly. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.